creating a photorealistic 75-foot Megalodon shark, or the Mac, was a massive VFX undertaking involving multiple top-tier VFX studios. It was the most massive aquatic creature these guys had ever worked on. The Mag wasn't just a big shark. It needed hundreds of intricate muscles and realistic movements, generating convincing underwater interactions in every scene. And animating it meant simulating enormous breaches and orchestrating immense chaotic water effects. All this while maintaining photorealism. At times, the sheer scale pushed VFX artists to their limits, forcing them to invent new simulation techniques and methods. So how exactly did they bring this legendary monster back from extinction? And how did the mag redefine what is possible in underwater creature VFX forever? Here's the thing. Designing the mag's look required balancing realism with a prehistoric look. The art department provided initial concepts, but the director wanted the creature to look distinct from a normal great white shark. He wanted to make sure that when people saw it on the screen, they would not think it is a regular shark. So the team started with proportions of a great white from a familiar silhouette, but exaggerated features for a more aggressive, ancient appearance. For example, real great whites have somewhat goofy or flat faces. So the VFX team at Scanline tweaked the mag's facial shape to appear more predatory. They also drew inspiration from other shark species. The mag's texturing and skin details were based in part on the nurse shark, giving it a unique texture and pattern. And like any other great white, early on, they decided to do all the design iterations in 3D rather than 2D concept art. Every version of the mag was sculpted digitally in ZBrush and reviewed from all angles. This helped the team judge form and scale in a real-world context. This actually helped rapid feedback from the director and VFX supervisors. They even developed a real-time Unreal Engine turntable system. The standalone viewer allowed the team to inspect the 3D mag model, and they could do this interactively, spinning it around, changing lighting, and camera lenses on the fly. One thing to note is attention to fine surface detail which was critical due to the shark's size on screen. Artists actually spent considerable time sculpting skin details, like scales, scars, and roughness at a scale that would catch highlights realistically at 75 feet long. The goal was to convey the immense size. All these design choices, I think, made a more believable megalodon before the teams proceeded to rig in an animation, which is the next step. Before they did the actual animation, they went over pre-visualization. Scanline delivered nearly 500 shots and led the development of the MAG asset. Other key contributors included Double Negative, in addition to Image Engine, and Sony Pictures Imageworks, each handling different sequences. Overall, the VFX supervisor, Adrian Duvat, coordinated this multi-studio effort, given that the MAG is essentially the main character. So the VFX teams worked closely with the director from the planning stage and virtually every shot with the creature or ocean had to be carefully previewed and planned in advance preparing for the animation. To make a 3D creature of this scale look convincing, an accurate anatomical rig and muscle simulations were essential. The VFX team approached the Megalodon as if building a real animal from inside out basically simulating its bone, muscle, and skin movements. So they used a 3D software called Ziva VFX, which is a cutting-edge muscle and skin simulation plugin that can work with Maya. In a nutshell, Ziva VFX is a 3D software developed by Ziva Dynamics, specializing in realistic muscle, skin, and soft tissue simulations for digital characters and creatures. And I would say it is essential in making animals especially Utilizing finite element analysis, or FEM, it accurately reproduces physical behaviors such as muscle flexing, skin sliding, and soft tissue deformations, significantly streamlining character animation processes. So in short, Ziva VFX allows artists to create remarkable lifelike and dynamic CGI creatures, and in this case, the Megalodon. To drive the Meg's deformations, first, 
the rigging team constructed a detailed skeletal structure, like a digital spine, jaw, fins, etc. Matching real shark anatomy in proportions and joint placement. On top of this, they layered virtual muscles, tenders, and fat, all physically modeled. Once the team built the skeleton accurately, which was the starting point, the system would then make the muscles and skin move in a correct way, without intersections or collapsing geometry. In previous projects, a lot of muscle movement had to be hand animated or managed with numerous manual rigs, which was time consuming and came with limited iterations. By contrast, Ziva simulation takes away a lot of manual labor, so animators just define the anatomy and physical parameters and let the software solve the muscle and skin motion. Both Skyline and Imageworks worked closely with Ziva developers as early adapters of the tech. The payoff was more realistic secondary motion. As the Megalodon swims, you can see muscles flex and slide under the skin, and initial ripples travel through its body on sharp turns. The VFX team deliberately added subtle twitches and shutters in the mech's gills and shoulders, which is invisible in some close-ups, to convey that muscular power. And thanks to this physically based muscle rig, many of these effects emerged naturally from the simulation once dialed in but they could be amplified as needed. For instance, they could push an extra shoulder shutter in an extreme way if the shot called for it. Overall, this muscle system allowed animators to focus on performance, mostly the shark's intent and timing, while the simulation took care of realistic flesh movement. It was actually a crucial foundation to make a CG Megalodon feel like a heavy, living creature, rather than just a rigid 3D model. Before embarking on the actual animation of the Mac, the animation team studied real shark behavior to inform its performance. Animators gathered hours of reference footage of great white sharks swimming, observing that they are surprisingly efficient in their movements. They glide with minimal energy expenditure. Early animation tests involved compositing a CG great white alongside real documentary footage to ensure the movement and speed felt indistinguishable. The mag, being much larger, needed to move with an ever greater sense of mass. So when a creature of that size turn or reaches, you should actually see the momentum ripple through its body. Thus animators gave the mag slightly slower, heavier motions compared to a normal shark. And the Ziva muscle rig caused the body to lag and flex convincingly with each movement. On fast maneuvers like breaching attacks, the body deformation helps sell the weight and subtle behaviors were layered to enhance realism. They added nuanced touches, such as the way real shark sometimes nip at each other when swimming in groups. In one scene, hundreds of smaller sharks swam and bite the megalodon. For this, the team deployed Massive, which is a crowd simulation software, to animate a bunch of different models in a coordinated way. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And you can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.